ask you, go back and talk to something, to somebody that is really knowledgeable and really knows and lives there, not for five days at a time, five months at a time, that really lives there and that really knows. I just got off the phone with my friend who is the I've been doing that all my life. I've been doing that. You know, uh, my, 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 uh, my uncle by marriage, you know, like he was an Israeli soldier in 1956. What's your first name? Abraham. Abraham Weinfeld? Weisfeld. Weisfeld. Rep. Abraham Weisfeld. I feel for you. I feel bad for you. I feel terrible that you're so confused in your heart. And I ask you, Rep. Abraham Weisfeld, go find a person that is knowledgeable and speak to them. Don't trust them. They will kill you in a minute. I'm a doctor of political science. I have, I have four books in the library here. That doesn't mean I know how to. I know how to, know how to write a book. No, it just means I know how to fix the problem because no, my mother taught me how to be a Bundist. The Bundists are the one who won the war against the Nazis. We were the right ones. The right Zionists, they ran away. But we fought and we won. Rabbi Abraham with your books. You are. You'll see. You'll find. You'll see later on. You know, history will. Yeah, exactly. In the Six Day War. Um, Charette was Prime Minister, and he described one of his people. Do you speak Yiddish? Yeah, sure, but you're a Bundist. Yeah. So, yeah. So he said, It is my Girotiner, Gilerinter, Nad. You are a Girotiner, talented, Gilerinter, learned, Nad, fool. Nothing. So they wish that they gave him Seichel. So it's very clear, and you should understand. No, I want to ask you a question. Hmm. You're, such a class, so You're such a big, brave man. You're such a big woman. Not today. Today it's nice, you know. Yeah, like yeah, last yeah, Sunday, yeah, minus 12. Yeah, okay, listen, that was terrible. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand why you're here. Why don't you go to the Muslim Center and tell them how to fix it? I work with the Palestinians. I'm vice president of the Palestinian Cultural Center. You know what that means? May the Abishter heal you. You're a fool and you are not kind in your soul because when you're kind, when you're kind to evil, you are evil to the good. That says in our Holy Talmud. It's as smart as your four books put together. It's true, but the International Court of Justice has just given me justice. You are a fool. And said that I'm right. The International Court of Justice is not a fool either. I'm wasting my time. I feel sad for you. Yes, but you're not hurting me. I can't. I can't believe you. I can't believe you because the International Court of Justice has said the same thing as me. And know how stupid and ridiculous that communism was should heal you and send you Oh, the communists, they killed our leaders. Erlich and Alter were killed by the Stalinists. Yeah. That's a communist. Hold on. No, the communists killed our leaders. I have a new strategy to talk to you because you are you are denying... Rabbi, you have a big soul. May the Abishta give you a good, fast healing and heal your soul and heal your mind and Here's my card. Cycle. I'll never forget your name, Rabbi Weiss. Okay. Okay, wait, well, you're a rabbi? She's or she just called very complimentary. It's, 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 uh, I'm a, not a certified rabbi, I'm a rabbi, you know, a small rabbi. Mm. Because, you know, I have seven years of cheder, you know, orthodox education. Yeah. Okay, so basically what we... Okay, so I'll look into that site, you know, if, yes, if you can open it, you, you know, without any problem. Look. I'm not denying But they anything. don't show what the actual you charges do. are. Why? So why? What? They show rapes? Yeah. It show, they show them par parading the women around naked. It's horrifying. Huh. My, my that friend, enough. That itself my is enough. My very close by. He could have died. Yeah. Um, so if you want to talk to real people, but basically, what you're doing, yes, Israel's not perfect. Most of the, most of the Israelis don't like Netanyahu. He has done horrible things. But what you're doing is participating in a movement. You're not anti-Semitic. No. But a lot... I, I know there are anti-Semites who use it as propaganda. Movement, they use it as ammunition to be yeah. anti-Semitic. Some. And, uh, and just uh, delegit delegitimize Israel. And um, I'm not concerned about Israel. I'm concerned about the Jewish people. And they are trying to de delegitimize the Jewish people. I saw a video with these libertarians, these American libertarians who support Trump. And they were saying, look, they're lying about, you know, uh, uh, Hamas and October the 7th, you know, and the International Court of Justice now given, you know, credibility to the Hamas, you know, version. And this means that the Jews are lying, okay? 
doesn't say Israel or the government or Netanyahu, you know, because they claim to be speaking on behalf of all Jewish people. So they say the Jews are lying, therefore they must be lying about the Holocaust as well. You know, I read something you know? saying Netanyahu is probably the worst, the worst leader in all of Jewish history. And the spouting of Amalekite, you know, propaganda, you know, mm -hmm. he's not well, even religious, you know. <laughs> so, basically, I, I know that October 7th happened, it was not to free prisoners, it was, it was an act of pure hatred. You can believe me or you cannot, I can show you as much proof as possible. But I still don't know if you believe me. Now I can give you all this proof. I, I, there is some I, some reason to to, to 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 agree with you there. You know why? Because most of the Hamas fighters, like eighty percent, I heard reported, are orphans. Their parents were killed okay, look, in previous uh, battles. So you know this is of, like the fifth okay, let's, war. I'm not gonna since you won't. So they the must have some hatred. Yes. I'm going to use logic now. But yeah. Okay, let's say I was a Palestinian orphan. My parents were killed. Do you think I would make more difference uh, being a peaceful political leader and trying to make good relations and build a better future for everyone? Or would I make more of a difference uh, helping to massacre some Jews just because I hate them and start a war that I know I would lose and would have a horrible consequence on my whole people? Yeah, there was uh, one telephone conversation of the, of the kid, you know, who was posting to his mom. He was like, Mom, I killed, I killed some <coughs> ten, Jews. Ten, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I killed it's ten Jews. Not... Are you proud of me? Yeah. And they were like, just And the mother said, just come home, you yeah. know, like. <laughs> so, so, look. Okay, yeah, so. There, there's, there's something that you... Really I missed something that I wanted to say that flowed from what you were talking about. Like, let's think, like, here's another thing. That you, I, I actually, there's a New York Times article I read. I can give you this. Um, yeah, it's been discredited already because there are uh, wait, sources wait, wait. Well, you don't know what I'm by the about. gray zone. What, what New York Times article do you think I'm talking on, about? On mass rapes. Oh, no, that's not what I'm talking about. But, okay. Um, it, but uh, you're probably wrong about that. Note to genocide. So basically... Thank you. Uh, so... Hamas, let's use, let's use logic again. I don't even need to. I don't even need to give you any articles. You just have to think about this. Mm -hmm. Hamas has a network of terror tunnels that is as you know, long, as approximately, as the London Underground. All right. You, longer, 725 longer. miles, okay, so kilometers. You're not that. That's good. Um, so they're not that, getting that bombed. Millions of. It's only civilians that are getting bombed. Why don't they yes, stop the bombing? Millions and millions. Because and millions. they're intent on genocide. Hold on. I'll get to that. Millions and millions and millions of uh, dollars put towards those tunnels. Um, what? What for? They don't. If they could, oh, yeah, but they that money doesn't all come. All of that money to build uh, better homes for yeah, the people. Yeah, but that they could have used it to build bomb shelters. They could have used it to do all this good stuff for their people. But their only focus is destroying the Jews and planning this October seventh attack. Like, they could have used that money well, for way better things. Uh, they also knew that they were going to be attacked again, so they had to set up a defense structure. What do you mean? I mean this Israel's is the fifth time. In the fifth time that Gaza has been attacked. Israeli defense forces. They haven't started one war. Five now, times now a, they've been bombed. Various wars. Before, they lasted two weeks at a time. Uh, Israel never started the war, and they never lost a war. Of course so, they started the war. 67, you know, nobody attacked in 67. <coughs> really? And they occupied, you know, three countries. They, so all the countries and then they had attacked to give back them. the Sinai to Egypt. And they won. Then they took more territory. And then because they wanted peace with a lot of the other countries, like Jordan and Egypt, they gave most of that back. Israel could have been almost like double uh, the size that it is now. They gave back most of that land. Yeah, because they, they, because they had to. Yeah. Then in 73, it happens again. Then two thousand. All this stuff, then 2005 they pull out, then Hamas takes no, 73 over. 73 is the reason why they gave back the Sinai, because they were attacked, you know, by Egypt and nearly lost the war. So they said, you know, figured it's better, you know, to just make peace with Egypt, you know, mm -hmm. because Egypt was getting strong. You know? Like, but do you understand what you're doing is, is not, what I'm, I think I'm you helping the saying, Palestinians, what, I know. What you should be saying is, uh, talking about like uh, condemning Netanyahu's government because what you're doing no matter if you, uh, you you might not perceive it this way but a lot of people are going to perceive it this way yeah but you, they're letting him get away with genocide the Israelis are totally you know not the indoctrinated Israelis, the Israeli government and yeah I'm, but the Israelis are supporting it and what I I've think, read the polls you know it's incredible no, I guarantee, even I though they know more than the Jewish people here not, even though they know you know like the uh, how a lot of the horror stories were exposed as fake they know about that but here they don't know. Okay, well, so I have friends in Israel. They are liberal, like myself, mm. and they they are in communities 